Everything's out of adjustment. I ain't even got base man muted yet. Okay. Just gonna slide that up that way for a minute. We'll get to it in just a second. Sitting here in base man stream and hanging out with Sherry Ward and Crappy Tim and Jonathan Reese and a few other people. And uh, I asked Sherry Ward if she'd like to pick tonight's story. Out of the ones that I gave her, she gave me one that I call, or she picked one that I call Sanitize First. One of the other options was Or What, and I think I'm going to tell you about Sanitize First, and we'll talk about what's under the little envelope here. And then we'll move on to or what. Both of these are personal experiences. Some of the things I might share with y'all, I'm not going to lie. I might embellish a little bit. But nine times out of ten, these are things that have actually happened. You know, I might throw a joke in there from time to time. Something that has come across my path and just struck me as funny, so I share it. And uh, I'm sitting here the other day, and I tell you, with with all of the, the streams I follow and everything else, especially Tomahawk and Storm and CA, I don't know if y'all saw that one or not, but I got that number one sticker from Tomahawk there. And uh, it actually looks like this little one back here, but I didn't get two of the same one till just the other day, when I, or today when I got this in. But we were sitting here the other day, and I'm waiting on the mail like, like a dog waiting to be let out of the car. <laughs> just, I mean, staring for the mailman. And I get to watching the neighbors across the street. And they sitting over there just kind of eyeballing around, make sure ain't nobody watching. One of them's rolling a blunt. Had to give me a drink. And they sit there and talk for a few minutes and everything else and they decided before they smoked that they was going to go inside. So, as they all went to walk in, the woman that actually lives there, she opens the door and then holds it open as she reaches for a bottle of hand sanitizer and makes everybody use it before they go inside. <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, guys, that's right. Y'all make sure to use that hand sanitizer before you go in and pass that blunt around. <laughs> Pretty sure it's going to be, you know, good and effective. Now, the other night, I'm, I may have had a little too much to drink, but my daughter eyeballed one of these a while back and thought it was kind of cool. So as soon as I saw one of them hit the auction... I told him as soon as he put it up there that that was going to be the next item, that it was mine, but nobody wanted to listen. But this is one of those $10 2020 Canadian. And I think Seeker has called this one Creatures of the North. And it would really help if I would quit looking at it with my eyes and look through the camera so y'all could see it too. Because I'm just loving this thing, but 
it's not really doing me a whole lot of good to show it off. My wife said, oh, that's actually a that's actually a $10 piece. And I said, yeah, but if you spend it for $10, you need to be having your head mashed or something. But anyway, that comes from Tomahawk today. And I am just tickled to death about it. That's my first chunky. Now, the second story I decided to add to this one, mainly to add a little bit of length to it, but uh used to work construction and I've lost quite a bit of weight like I said I'm far from small now but about 15 10 15 years ago I mean it was nothing for me to grab 400 pound and run with it so I was not a little guy by any means and I'm driving the company truck we're on the way down to Texas going go down there and put up a building and uh, as we're going down the road this song was playing on the radio now keep in mind it is only me and uh, well it's kind of an odd story but this is my uncle that I'm riding with and he was my foreman well he was my superintendent I was the foreman on the job site kind of wasn't something I, this was the first time that had ever happened. I was a foreman for about seven years, but this was the first run at it, so. But we're on the way down to Texas, just screaming on down the interstate, big F-350, and some song was playing on the radio, and, and I'm doing the whole drummer solo over here on the steering wheel, just tabity, 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 tabity. And Uncle Dennis turned around, and he said, hey, Knock that off. And I said, or what? And he said, do what? And I said, or what? See, you have to have a consequence that is going to outweigh the enjoyment I'm getting out of the activity that I'm doing right now. And if you don't have a consequence that is going to outweigh the enjoyment, ergo, or what? Man, go to hell, Danny. <laughs> I love my Uncle Dennis. I love to aggravate him, too. <laughs> but that's it for tonight, guys. And y'all behave.